Good morning, everyone. Another installment of Workout Wednesday. I'm April Dupree with our fitness and nutrition expert, Mackie Shillstone. This is week two of talking about different variations of push-ups. We have two amazing push-ups for you today. Mackie's gonna show you the regular version and I will show you the modification. If you notice, right over our shoulders, we are across the street along the Lafitte Greenway at uh, Parkway Po' Boys. It's one of my favorite spots. Mackie last week said that he didn't even know what a Po' Boy was. I should take your New Orleans card away from you. Don't know what it is. Can't do it. This man is from here. He grew up here and he's talking about he doesn't eat Po' Boys. Anyway, tell us about these uh, push-ups so we can burn off our Po' Boys later on. Well, you saw me warming up my chest because this is week <laughs> two of what we think are the most effective push-ups of the many types that are out there, and there are over 27 that you can do to strengthen the chest awesome. and tone it and the arms, and we're always going to be pulling in the core. Cool. In the first one, it's going to be a plank push-up, and I will start out in a low position. Okay. And the second one is a diamond push-up, and I'll start out in the plank upward position. Gotcha. April's gonna come in and show you the modification. All right, I'm gonna get so out of your way. Notice I'm, I'm gonna set up, April does this and teaches this, so I'm gonna be in a plank position. All right. So I'm gonna roll over and push up and come back down and here. Okay. Then I'm gonna roll over and back down. I'm gonna roll over and back down. So in other words, I'm shifting weight, I'm adjusting up, I'm dropping down and coming down. I'm shifting up, shifting up, and then I can reverse it and down back to my position. Cool. The diamond is make a diamond with your hands. Put it directly under the chest. Gotcha. My elbows were flare a little bit. These are one of my favorites. Very challenging, but good. Ooh, look at you, nice and strong. Those hips aren't dipping. He's showing off, y'all. Awesome. And Boom. it challenges all of the core. Very much, you will see that when I do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. But these are like two of my favorite push-ups. I really like these. So Maggie was, in his regular high plank, I'm gonna get down on uh, my knees. You can, of course, bring your knees a little bit closer or cross, but if you wanna make it a little bit easier, you can keep your feet down, come all the way down, all the way up. I'll alternate. Now notice that April started in the up position, which is totally fine. I chose to start from the lower position. Either way, you're either pushing up concentric or you're coming down, that's eccentric or deceleration. Gotcha, awesome. Now so, here comes the diamond. All right. Show everybody the diamond. There you go, so you we're see here. the diamond. Yes. Notice where she's yes. going to position. Aim forward. Right. Now, notice how the elbows are flaring out a little bit. That's so you can keep the diamond and the center of the chest aligned. Notice that she does not have to go down very far. Just down, why don't you come right there. Notice the 90 degree angle. That's the safest area. 90 degrees doesn't open up the joint. All right, so again, how many of these should we do to remind everyone? Well, we told everybody last week, we said you're doing, in this case, you're doing two push-ups, whether you do modified or standard. Yeah. So try for 10 repetitions okay. and do, that's 20 total. Um, or maybe you do 10 of the way I did it and 10 of the way April did. Make Perfect. vary it in any way you want to. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. Please visit maxwellnutrition.com and find all of these amazing exercises and information. And definitely visit www.com, www.tv.com, I should say, and click on the health tab. We'll see you guys. I'm going to get my poor boy. Goodbye. You can leave.